Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and this is part two of this envelope one note at a time. And if you didn't watch the first one, please watch it or you won't understand. So if you grab the shape tool, you've still got an envelope and not much you can do with it, but you can go to object and convert it to a curve, which it already was, but now it's a curve. And now you've got individual letters. So you've already got your envelope letters where you want them. Now we can correct some of these things that the Corel or the envelope tool messed them up. And you know you could change them quite a bit and make sure you only select one note at a time. But you could go through here and, and really add some detail to this and uh, kind of get it back to where it was. You could actually change the font looking a little bit. You know, you can make it a little thicker. And uh, like we see how the E, because of what we did, the E kind of falls in on both these places. Well, we could select all those nodes and just move them out a little bit. I don't know why, I must have, I must have missed all the nodes and just move it out a little bit, make it look more like an E. Same thing on the L, you could take that and make it look better. And you know, even this curve part of the S, if you wanted to, you could, you could maybe even delete some of these nodes and see what happens. And because it's a curve, I'm pretty sure we could use the shape tool, but you could probably do the same thing like that. That looks, I think, pretty, pretty good. I mean, I would be happy with that to print it. You know, you could move that P in, maybe move this one back. Uh, just kind of give it a, a better, because the envelope tool kind of messed it up, but now it's in a shape of this curve. And you could even take it further and like if you like that A there, you could bring it down more to the dog's body. And um, this is how I used to do it. I used to individually take letters and just move them like this and um, give it more of a feel of the, the curve of the dog is what the, that's the effect we were trying to get anyway. And, you know, you could take one note at a time and kind of curve it, curve that node. That looks pretty good. But, you know, just get these nodes closer to the shape of the dog. And I've even taken and gone to extremes when I'm doing just a name in a wedding car. I mean, you could go way out and, you know, really make it look like it's forming the dog shape. Anyway, I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you.